What's up everybody? Fierce Fuzz here, and just want to let you know I'm making another Should You Buy. And today is going to be on Witcher 3. So, this game to me has been really fun non-stop. And from what I can always expect, it's just nothing else like this. Unless you want to compare, like, Dragon Age. But not even close to that. Dragon Age is... It's, it's storyline. There's a little bit... Of story. But not story of... And it's like you're going to have you have to do certain stuff in order to do. And this game's like, oh, no matter, you can just do whatever you want. So. This game's really fun in that aspect. No, there's it's long lines of how people were excited for Skyrim. Okay, no, no. I'm about to die. But you know, the storyline's amazing. And um it's always a nice game to go into. And it's always easy to get out of it when you're like, you, you know, when you want to play something else. And there's not many games like that anymore. I mean, there's games where you get, you know, you get into it and it's like, oh god. I'm going to play this for hours and hours and I'm not going to do anything but this. You know, this is the type of game that you can do that. But it's not like, oh, is there going to be something I made? Hmm, how do, should I put this? Um, like, oh, is there something, you know, I should wait for? And it's like, no matter what, it, the game recaps. You know, you know, it's like, kind of what, uh, it's like, you know, so far in the story that what you've done so it's like it's really nice in that aspect of like if you haven't played it for a while so that's what I would do say One word and clap you in the not stops. do and this uh, this game is really good on, you know, its graphics and balancing graphics and the fighting. It's like, it's not too heavy on one side. It's like, the graphics aren't, like, fantastic while the fighting style or the gameplay is just complete garbage. They actually... The... The... <laughs> the graphics and the fighting are like at the same level you know the graphics are fucking are really amazing and not a, and the fighting is also really amazing the story so far is like you go to certain places it's kind of like mario it's like you go to a the castle and like oh peach is not here it's kind of like that but it's not as tedious no, it's kind of like, oh, no matter what, you can like not do the quest of what you're going to do, and you can still just roam around, and not care, and just you know look at all the stuff around you. you now there's the under there's an underwater aspect that I really like. I'm about to 
show you right now. It's like, oh, no, kind of like what everybody was excited for GTA about. It's like, you can actually see the underwater wildlife. And you can actually shoot your crossbow underwater. And it's really nice. It's like this game is good, like in the aspect of that it doesn't give you an overpowered weapon at the beginning of the game, and it's like that's the only weapon that you get. It's made to challenge the player, and in an aspect, it's like that's amazing for me because it's like I don't like a game that just gives you an overpowered weapon at the beginning and at the end it's like oh that's okay here's something else and it's less powerful it's like uh, I really like because that's what Dragon Age kind of really bummed me out for because it's like I have them like halfway through the story and it's like oh I already have the most OPest weapon in the game. Better not do anything but kill him with these weapons that I have. And it's like, it kind of really bummed me and it really basically bored me. And it's like, I was still addicted to that game, but it's like, It's not like I would, you know, play it again knowing what I, because I was going to make a series, but it's like, I still might, but that's above another topic. This is about this game, but my rating of this game would be 9.5. Now, there is some stuff that needs to work on, but it's not like it's a major deal. So it's like that's still fine in an aspect, and it's like no matter what, this game like it, it's amazing. And I died. But my rating for this game is 9.5 out of 10. There's some stuff that they need to work on. And you know, it you it's not like that big but of a deal, but it kinda interrupts the gameplay a bit, a small bit. You know. And certain aspects it's like, oh, you have to do this and it's like like the fast travel. You have to go to a sign. I mean, I don't I like that, but it's just sometimes it's so tedious. And it's like, oh but it just makes you explore more. And, that, and that's what I like about a game is it doesn't like, it doesn't like, oh, hey, just click on something and you just fast travel to it. But yeah, the fast travel is the only thing I have problems with. Because like, I'm in the middle of nowhere and I want to get out and it's like, I'm on my horse and it's like, oh, where do I go? It's like, when it's like the times like oh I don't want to I don't want to adventure, but it's like I might want to, but I just don't. I mean, this, this it has a day night cycle. The weather changes, and I like weather changes. I like you know oh it's raining oh yeah. 
And it's like, it gives an ominous feeling to the whole aspect of the whole world around itself. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Fierce Fuzz. Like, subscribe. Become a giraffe today. Um, I'll do more of these series if you guys, like, want me to. I mean, I already have a game I have right now that I want to do a video on. But, I'll let you do by. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, dislike button, subscribe for more of my videos. Get notifications on them. But, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.